hey if you are new here this is chandan and you are watching the learning field okay so this is the fourth lecture uh this is the fourth lecture of linear programming problem uh up to this we have discussed we already discussed the uh, three lectures for lpp okay and this uh, lecture series is very helpful for uh gate exam csr net exam and also for any state level set examination okay so in this lecture we discussed some basics topics and properties for the graphical method okay graphical method and some problems which comes in csr net exams based on these topics we discussed in this lecture okay so let's start and before starting i am requesting you to all those who are new those you are uh, not watching me previously please like the video comment if you have any doubt in the comment section below and subscribe the channel okay so let's start so see uh, this says that there are two types of feasible region okay so one is bounded region and one is unbounded region okay so for the case of graphical method when we draw the graph uh, based on some lpp there are basically two types of situations occur okay so one is we get bounded solution and other one is get we get the unbounded solutions or unbounded region okay based on the graph okay so in bounded region the objective function have both a minimum and the maximum value whereas the un unbounded feasible region the objective function have either a maximum or a minimum value never have a both value so this line is very important okay that means for the bounded region we get above we can get both the maximum or minimum value of the objective function but in case of the unbounded physical region uh, we can't get the two values at a time okay that is we uh, get only the either only the maximum value or either only the minimum value okay so this is the thing that uh, here we can say okay so uh, based on this there is a theorem so the theorem says that if a lpp of two decision variables has an optimal solution then the objective function of the lpp assume its optimal value at the vertex of the feasible region okay so this is the theorem and one more announcement is that uh, for the purpose of discussing and uh, sharing that one uh, family member of our family member says that please uh, share these notes okay so for this case i am starting a new telegram channel okay the name of the telegram channel is the learning field so this in this channel i will provide the pdfs of these classes okay so you can check the telegramming uh, link i will be sharing uh, the telegram link in the description okay so you must check and join the group for your future reference okay so this will be the uh, this is the name of the telegram channel so you can join this for your reference okay so this is the thing now uh we here discuss the different cases uh maybe occur in the case of uh feasible or uh, graphical method okay before that we uh, here write a theorem in which base the graphical method stands for okay so the theorem says that first we uh, see what is polygon okay in geometry a polygon is a plane curve bounded by a finite number of line segment we all know the definition of a polygon okay suppose this is like a polygon okay sorry uh, suppose this is this is a polygon and this is a polygon also this type of figures you know all know that this is a polygon okay so uh, this is a polygon okay so any point the theorem there is a theorem so the theorem says that any point or x in a polygon so any point x in a polygon which is not a vertex that means the point these are not suppose if we take this polygon then x is outside of these four points okay so x uh, except uh, uh, x is a point which is not these four points for this case okay so expressed as can be expressed as x equal to x is a point then x equal to alpha a plus beta b plus gamma c plus delta d okay so where a b c and d are the vertices of the polygon and alpha beta gamma delta are the non-negative real numbers such that alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta this is equal to one okay so this is a theorem a theorem any point which is not the vertex can be expressed as this okay where a b c d are the vertex of this uh, polygon 
in case of uh, this and alpha beta gamma delta are the what are uh, non negative real numbers such that alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta equal to 1 okay so this is the theory now becomes the different cases uh, the case one is unique finite solution okay in this case the optimal value occurs at a vertex of the feasible region okay so this is the case of uh, unique finite solution and one uh, important result is, yeah, is that for a case of standard LPP that is if we write maximum of z uh, suppose z equal to this suppose a function and subject to subject to ax less equal to type inequalities okay so if the inequalities are of less equal to type and um, uh, the objective function is to be maximized in that case we must get an unique solution okay unique solution unique of finite solution okay so you can remind this is a very important note okay very important note now unbounded solution uh, if the feasible solution is not bounded it is possible that the value of the objective function goes increasing without leaving the feasible region okay so if uh, this case occur then we say that the lpp has unbounded solution okay suppose we get uh, these two lines and the a feasible region is this side okay the arrow line arrow side okay and this is the z line what is the z line suppose you get uh, optimize z equal to some ax plus by okay so for any fixed value of z we got get a straight line okay this ax plus by suppose ax plus by this is equal to c okay so this line is called the z line okay so z line is suppose like that then we say that this uh, is the case of unbounded solution okay now uh, multiple or infinitely many solution okay if z line is parallel to the side of the feasible region then all the points lying on that side are the optimal solutions of the lpp okay in this case before leaving the feasible region profit line that is the cost line that is the uh, which we have to be optimized line touches the said parallel line okay this is the optimal solution and one more thing is that in this case uh, this is the figure suppose this is a cost, uh, constant this is a constant and this uh, this is a constant and suppose this uh, the arrow side uh, which indicates the feasible region and this is the z line which is parallel to any of the constant okay so that means what that means if the objective function if the suppose max or mean z optimize z optimum z equal to suppose ax plus by types okay so if this ax plus by that is if the slope of the line ax plus by that is slope of uh, this line z is parallel to any of the constraints okay is parallel to slope of uh, like it says that slope of uh, z line is parallel to parallel to any of the constraints okay so if this is occurred then we say that the lpp has multiple optimal solution okay or infinitely many solution okay we comes to the question based on this uh, result okay so uh, number four is infeasible solution sometimes the set of constraints of lpp does not form a feasible region in the uh, in such situation lpp is said to have infeasible solution okay that means if the constraint is not uh, solvable that is uh, if the set of constraint is inconsistent in that case we have infeasible solution okay suppose this is the case these two are the constant and the arrow line represent the feasible region in this case there is no these two lines are parallel so maybe parallel okay so this uh, in this case there are no feasible solution okay so this is the case the next case is the unique feasible solution okay when the feasible region is single tone set that is contains only a single point then the lpp has unique feasible point in this case there is no need for optimization as there are only one point okay since we get only one point that is the feasible region contains a single point therefore that point is the is our required solution or that point optimize the objective function okay so this is the case this is the fifth case and this is uh, suppose these two are the 
okay what these two are the constant and if this type of region uh, we get then this point is called the uh, uh, only the single point which is uh, lying inside the lying this uh, in this region okay so this is called the unique feasible point okay and in this case we get unique feasible solution now let us comes to the some examples which are based on csi net okay so the case uh, the first example says that consider the lpp uh, consider the lpp max of x1 plus 5 by 2 x2 this is equal to subject to this is subject to uh, there are three constant 5 x1 plus 3 x2 less equal to 15 minus x1 plus x2 less equal to 1 and 2 x1 plus 5 x2 less equal to 10 it is has there are four options given has no feasible solution has un, infinitely many optimal solution has unique solution has bounded solution okay so c there is a constant which is the see the third constant okay so the third constant is 2x1 plus 5x2 less equal to 10 okay so and the objective function is x1 plus 5 by 2x2 so this is the objective function suppose let us take uh, z is equal to c so this is suppose the z line okay and also you can say this is the objective function and this we see can we can see easily that this is x1 plus 5 by 2x2 this is equal to uh what five okay so see these two are parallel okay that is the slope of these two lines that is constant and the objective function are equal that means we get what we get the clearly the infinitely many optimal solution i just say it above okay so the in this case we get uh we get has it has infinitely many optimal solution this is clear cut answer of this problem okay you, you don't you don't need to solve this type of problems okay just uh, these type of problems are basically based on the theorems okay so <clears throat> theory part is also most important for the lpp up to uh, a stage we do we, uh, we think that the lpp is very easy uh, we just uh, need to solve uh, using the graphical method or there are some methods but uh, the theory part is also very important uh, because in the some cases you uh, if you solve the problem then it is very time taken and it is uh, also uh, not solvable properly you don't need to uh, you may not you may not, sorry <laughs> so in this case type of cases uh, when you uh, don't reach the final answers of the problems in that cases uh, theory part is very important okay so this is the case so the next problem is again from uh, CSI net okay so this problem says that consider the LPP maximum of z equal to minus 2x minus 5y subject to this constant 3x plus 4y greater equal to 5 okay which is correct option the set of feasible solution is empty the set of feasible solution is non-empty but there is no optimal solution and the optimal value are attained in these two points are given okay so this is uh, the constant and if we uh, draw this uh, line that is uh, converted to equality and uh, draw this line we all know that uh, in case of this types of inequality first we need to uh, uh, equate this uh, convert this is an equality and then we solve it okay so if we write this 3x plus 4y equal to 5 straight line then we get this type of straight line this is a point and this is a point okay see there is no another straight line and this is the optimal region okay uh, the arrow side okay so see there is a unbounded optimal solution okay therefore the feasible solutions is empty this is clearly not correct okay and what is what is that one more thing is that any point lying in the line lying in this uh, on this line okay is the feasible solution therefore there are infinite number of feasible solution but no one is optimal okay in this case yeah if we take uh, any point from this line you see that this point gives an feasible solution okay so all the points lying on this line gives the feasible solution but no one is optimal the, and these two points are there is no clear cut um, uh, size uh, no clear cut what these two points are not the feasible uh, optimal solution okay because there is no uh, in this this line is completely what uh, all the points of the uh, uh, on the line are the what are the feasible solution therefore these two points are not the optimal solution because there are many other points okay which may be optimal these two points are not the optimal okay so these two are option are incorrect therefore the option b is correct okay 
I think this is clear because see clearly all the points lying on the this line are the opti uh, are the feasible solution. These two need not be the optimal solution. Okay, these two points which are given in the options. Okay, so this is the correct answer. Okay, and now the next one is what the next one is. Consider the LPP max is equal to 3x plus 5y. Where uh, subject to the constant, these two are the constant x plus 5y less equal to 10 and 2x plus 5y less equal to 5c. And then the four options are given. The LPP does not admit any feasible solution. There is unique uh, exist uh, unique optimal solution to the LPP. Exist any unique optimal solution to the dual. The dual problem has no unbounded solution. This is related dual. Uh, we read it later. The dual problem of an primal problem. Okay. Uh, but in this question, this is very easy questions. Okay, see, I say that uh, just uh, above what what if the objective function has to be maximized, and when x less equal to b type of constant in that case, and the objective function has to be maximized. Okay, in that case, we get the what obviously we get an unique optimal solution. Okay, therefore, this b option is clearly correct. Okay. You don't need to solve this problem, okay? So there exists a unique optimal solution to the LPP, okay? And uh, one more thing is that uh, we did it later. Just we uh, say it in this situation, okay? So if the objective, if the uh, LPP, that is this uh, problem is called primal problem, okay? So if the primal problem has unique optimal solution, then the dual must have the unique optimal solution, okay? So, if C B is right, therefore C is also right. Okay. Uh, if the uh, primal problem has unique optimal solution, then the dual problem has also the unique optimal solution. Okay. So, these two are the correct option. Okay. So, these are the question, and you can solve uh, also this uh, uh, by drawing the uh, lines and by using the graphical method. But there, there, is, there is no need to solve this type of problem uh, thoroughly. Okay. So, this is the content for this lecture. If the content is helpful, then please give a like to this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Okay. Thank you friends. See you again in the next video.